if they don't tell us about any restrictions, we can now assume that the domain is going to be from negative infinity all the way to infinity, right? Just like over there. There's no restrictions. So we can assume that. However, we have to look at kind of our embedded in restrictions. We know that if there's a variable in the denominator, that can't make the denominator equal to 0. And that's what I was trying to say in that. I don't really like how x is it. So we can't make the denominator equal to 0. So I have a variable in here. I need to figure out what number, then, makes my denominator equal to 0. Well, the easiest way to do that is to take out the denominator and just set it equal to 0 so I can find the value of x that does that. So using our inverse operations from algebra, x equals 3 halves. So that means when x is equal to 3 halves, when x is equal to 3 halves, that makes my denominator 0. So guess what? 3 halves is not inside the domain. So we have our function. Our function goes all the way to infinity. It can do whatever stuff it wants to do. But at 3 halves, here's 1, here's 2. 3 halves is like right here. At 3 halves, there's either a whole or an asymptote. We don't know what it is right now. We're going to learn about how to determine your asymptotes and holes later. But for right now, you can just say this function continue is continuous, except it doesn't, it doesn't include the value 3 halves. And then it continues from there. So it's all real numbers except for that value. Okay. Now I want to show you guys how to write that in um, interval form. Because it, um, we wrote all real numbers as negative infinity to infinity. But in reality, this is going from negative infinity to how far over does it go till it has to stop? To 3 halves. Then it start back, starts back up again from 3 halves to infinity. You guys kind of agree? And it doesn't include 3 halves. So that's why it's a parenthesis. So to connect these, we use the union symbol. OK? Yes? It's just me telling you it's like a made up graph. I mean, I don't know what the graph looks like. OK? I mean, it's definitely a function, but we don't know what the graph looks like. It's probably something easy, right? It's not going to be something crazy. And actually, let's go and take a look at the graph to make sure that makes sense. So. We will be practicing this uh, next class period.